Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Patrick Olson, Suburban Dad for Cars.com, and today we're looking at the 2010 Ford Fusion. It's a competitor to the Camry and Accord, and it's a family car. It makes a lot of sense, but there's a few things you have to watch for. Let's start off in the second row. It's fairly roomy, but when I get in, I'm a little tight on the knees here and a little tight on the head. However, if you've got small kids or preteens, that won't be much of a problem. Now in the back, one of the key things about family cars is cargo space. The Fusion has a pretty voluminous trunk here, lots of space, and it goes really pretty far back. In addition, if you need more space, they've got a handy little pull handle, and the second row seats plop down. The Fusion is interesting in the way that it drives compared to the Camry and the Accord. It's a little more aggressive than those, and so it's got some pretty, pretty quick starts, good acceleration, good passing power. There's not a lot of road noise inside the Fusion, nor is there a lot of wind noise, which is common for the Accord and the Camry, but not really something I expected in the Fusion. It's very solid inside, although it feels a little more cramped than those cars do as well. Um, on the whole, though, it's a very pleasant driving experience, very solid, um, and I feel like I've got a good uh, feel for the road. The heavy steering wheel is not too heavy, not too light. Um, overall, I think it's a winner. One of the nicest things that have changed in the Fusion from the old one to the 2010 model is the interior. It's got some very nice soft touch plastics um, inside and it has a really easy to use layout of controls. We really like that. Now, the electric blue, I'm not sure if that's my thing, but you know, taste is in the eye of the beholder. The 2010 Ford Fusion's got several things going for it. It's got a solid driving experience and it's got really large cargo space in the trunk. But remember, if you think of this as a family car, it's probably best if you've got young children, especially preteens, given the smallest back seat. For more car related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.